think another issue that we had in our family when we looked at the process of adoption was can we really influence an orphan child like we can our biological child? I mean, can you really instill the same values? Can they really become a part of your family? Well, I got to tell you, when we adopted our little Tiki, he was six years old. He comes from Rwanda. He didn't speak a lick of English. He came over in November, and here we sit almost nine months later, and Tiki is speaking in full English sentences. He's learning what it means to be a part of our culture and a part of our family. He's literally become one of us. So let me pose that question to you. Do you really think that you can influence your biological child more than you can an orphan child? My mom has this habit of when she's washing or putting up dishes, she always has a dish towel tossed over her shoulder, always. And here's little Showy at the time, seven, six, and where's the dish towel? Tossed right over her shoulder just like mama does it. And so for me, maybe that's just a funny anecdote, but to show you that I toss the dish towel over my shoulder, Showy tosses, tosses the dish towel over her shoulder um, because that's what mom does. And so biological adopted children are um, going to absorb what they see. And scripture exhorts us to train up your child in the way that they shall go and they will not depart. And I think there's a level of faith um, that's really involved when you, when you step into parenting. And you have to trust God with your child and with your children and really pour into them what you can. I think when you're walking into the, to the adoption process, there's so many questions because it's so unknown. You know, are they going to bond with us like our kids, like our biological kids did? But, but looking back for me as a dad, I thought the same thing about our first kid. Mm -hmm. You know, John Michael, I was like, I can always imagine cuddling up with a little girl and holding her, but how do you love on a boy? Because I've never experienced anything like that. Right? We were around a lot of people in our Bible college that had kids. It's like, how's this going to work? But man, that little guy showed up in our world. I was, I was like, I've got to stop kissing his face. He's going to get a rash, you know? <laughs> so, so then the second child comes, you're like, what are we going to do about two? How's two going to work? And how's three going to work? So, so really, a lot of that's just natural parent fear, just because it's unknown.